come back to my channel today we are going to learn chapter 11 the formations of solid so today we are going to discuss the questions related to young modulus exercise one question number one the sign of mass 1700 kg hangs from the end of the vertical steels so, so they give you the cross sectional area 0 0.012 meter square and also the young modulus 20 times 10 to the power of 10 pascal okay so question number one what is the stretch within the leader? So here we want to find stretch. The equations here for stretch is equal to force over area. Okay, but before we find the stretch here, we must sketch the free body diagram here. Okay, so here there is a string or the steel. Okay, where the steel here there is a tension and also at the same time this mass is experienced a weight. So we know that actually the tension is equal to mg. Okay, so the force here we are referring is actually the tension of the string and tension of string also equals to weight. So we substitute the weight is 1700 times 9.81 over the area where the cross-sectional area is given 0 0.012. So if you press calculator, we will get 1.39 times 10 to the power of 6 Newton per meter squared. Or you can write Pascal. Okay, B. What is the strain? On the leader. So the strain here, the equation is equal to allocation over the original length. Where the allocation here we don't have, but we can find by using uh, the equations of the Young modulus. Okay, because we know that y is equal to stretch over strain. And since we have the Young modulus and also we have the stretch, so we can find the strain where the strain is equal to stretch over young modulus okay so the stretch here is 1.39 times 10 to the power of 6 and young modulus is given 20 times 10 to the power of 10 pascal so if you press calculator we will get 6.95 times 10 to the power of negative 6 okay and there's no unit huh, because both are in same unit so we can cancel out c if the guitar is 9.5 meter long so this is the original length. How much is it landed? Meaning that how long was the allocation? Huh? Okay, so we can use the equation just now. The strength equals to allocation over original length, where the strength here is equal to 6.95 times 10 to the power of 6. And the allocation is the value that we want to find. Original length is 9.5. So the extension or the allocation we will get 6.6 .6 times 10 to the power of negative 5 meter. Okay, so the answer given here, the unit is actually wrong. Huh? Okay, so the unit actually is meter. Okay, question number two. 15 cm long of the tendon was found to stretch. So this is the allocation by the force of 13.4 Newton. The tendon was approximately around with an average diameter of 8.5 mm. Calculate the young modulus of the tendon. Okay, so the young modulus equation is equal to stretch over strain or we can write it it equals to f over a l over e okay so f is given just now 13.4 and the original length here is 15 cm so i convert it into unit si 0 0.15 meter okay and the area here is not given but they give you the diameter so we know that the diameter the area is equal to pi r square so we can write pi r is equals to 8.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 then divided by 2 because we want to find the radius and remember to square it up okay so the area that we get for the tendon is equal to 5.67 times 10 to the power of negative 5 meters squared so we substitute into the equation 5.67 times 10 to the power of negative 5 and the allocation is 3.7 millimeter so we convert it into meter Okay, so if we press calculator, we will get 9.573 times 10 to the power of 6 Pascal or you can write it Newton per meter squared. Question number 3, an object of mass 3 times 10 to the power of 3 kg is suspended from the steel cable with the original length 40 meter and the cross sectional area is 1 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meter squared. Determine the extension, meaning that the allocation of the cable when the mass cable system okay, is at rest. So we must uh, draw the free body diagram first, okay? Because we know that 
uh, this is the tension and this is the weight okay and the first one if let's say okay so when acceleration equals to zero our f net will equal to ma and is equal to zero so therefore tension is equal to mg okay so we can find allocation where y is equal to f over a l over allocation so our allocation we can write it as f l over area times the young modulus okay so first here since uh, the system is at rest meaning that the tension is equal to mg so we substitute our force here is equal to mg 3 times 10 to the power 3 times 10 to the power 1 the original length is 40 meter and the cross sectional area is 1 times 10 to the power negative 4 Young modulus is 2 times 10 to the power of 11 So for question 3a, we will get 5.89 times 10 to the power of negative 2 And the unit is in meter Okay B If the mass cable system move upward at constant speed Okay, so constant speed V constant Similar when V constant A will also equal to zero okay so our f net also will equal to zero and the value that we get for a for b actually equals to uh, the value that we get from a okay so this is the answer for 3a and also 3b yeah? they both they will get the same answer okay next we go to 3c when the mass system cable move upward at constant acceleration okay so meaning that for 3c f net equals to ma but now a no longer equals to zero Okay, so our tension minus mg is equal to ma Therefore, our tension is equal to ma plus mg Okay, so a plus g where m is 3 times 10 to the power of 3 a is 3, g is 9.81 So the tension of the cable is equal to 38,430 newton Then we substitute into the equations to find the allocations Where e is equal to f L over A Y F here we are referring to the tension So it's 38,430 Newton Original length is 40 meter And uh, the cross sectional area is 1 times 10 to the power of 4 And the Young modulus is 2 times 10 to the power of 11 So the allegations for question 3C The value that we will get is equal to 7.69 times 10 to the power of negative 2 And the unit is in meter Okay, that's all for this video Please watch on the next video. We will continue discuss on questions 3 and questions 4. See you on next video. Bye.